Okay, uh, ladies, so let's do this uh, problem. It says, state whether each of the following is a physical or chemical property. Okay, so we cool with this one? Should we yes. do this one? Okay. Yes. So the A says manganese bubbles and acid. Is that going to be a physical or chemical? Chemical. 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 Why is that? Because yeah, whenever you see bubbles, that's an indication of a what? Chemical. Chemical change or reaction. Okay, so what are we going to say over here? Chemical. Chemical. Okay. Silver is malleable. What is that? Physical. Physical. Because what does malleable mean? That is. When you can hit it, right? With yeah, a right. with a what? A hammer. Hammer and it does what? Kind of it flattens, flattens out. out. Very good. Yes, very good. Okay. So silver is malleable. What is that? A physical. Physical. Okay, wonderful. Okay, what about the next one? Calcium turns dark in air. That's a chemical. 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 Why do you say that? Because it's a change in color. It's a permanent change in color. Okay, so whenever you see that, that's always going to be a chemical change. Okay. So hopefully what you're doing is looking at the notes and you found that page where I've written down all of the indications of finding a chemical change. Whenever you, so you're going to have to memorize that list or it'd be good for you to memorize that list. So whenever those um, things happen, you can always just put chemical and everything else is going to be physical. Okay? So what about this one? Carbon grinds to a powder. That's physical. Physical. Why? Because you're just physically grinding. Mm -hmm. It's not reacting with anything. Okay. okay, any questions on this one, ladies? No. Okay, wonderful. You did very good.